Welcome to this video on using flash on a TLR. TLRs tend to support flash capability via a port on the front. It is on the top right hand corner of this TLR, here where the cable is connected to the flash. The connector is called a PC connector, short for Prontor Compol, a long established standard for triggering flashes. Some modern DSLRs still have a socket for this. TLRs have a leaf shutter that can flash sync at all shutter speeds with electronic flashes like these. You set the synchronisation mode on the camera to X, or when the shutter is fired, the blades on the shutter all open fully revealing the film, and then the flash is triggered. As long as the duration of the flash is shorter than the shutter speed, you can use that shutter speed. Typically electronic flashes are less than one one thousandth of a second duration, so in practice they will work with all TLRs. So you set any shutter speed you want on the TLR with an electronic flash. A lot of the TLRs didn't have mountings for flash. There is one on this Yashica mat, but it doesn't trigger the flash electrically. It is simply a mounting bracket. It is called a cold shoe rather than a hot shoe. So you have to find a flash gun with a cord that connects to the PC socket and connect it to the socket on the camera in order to be able to use the flash. You may also need a flash bracket as I have here. The PC connector for the flash is a long established standard. It is the little silver socket with the central connector inside the ring to the right of the viewing lens. The connector from the flash gun or remote trigger just plugs in. Like that. And it just pulls out. You typically get no flash metering on a TLR, so you either use a metering system on the flash gun, or you set your flash up manually using the guide number and dividing your focusing distance into it to give you the aperture value, or you can use a flash meter. If you have a flash gun with a zoom head that is designed to be used on a 35mm system with zoom lenses, there can be an issue with field of view coverage on a TLR. Typically TLRs are fitted with lenses of about 80mm focal length, and these will equate to a 50mm lens on a 35mm system. So you would tend to set the zoom head on the flash gun to 50mm, but you need to bear in mind that TLRs tend to shoot square format, which has image area above and below the rectangular format that is used in 35mm. So I would suggest that if a flash gun has a zoom setting, you set it to 35mm. If we were using it in a setting like this where the flash is pointing in the same direction as the camera, that is to give you a bit more coverage to make sure that the top and bottom of the frame area is illuminated by the flash. On older style flash guns like this one, that don't have zooms, typically the angle of coverage will be 35mm and so should effectively cover the field of view of the TLR. Some TLRs have different flash sync modes. If you look at the lever with the little yellow button on it that is set to X, this lever sets the flash synchronisation mode. X mode is for electronic flash guns, and in this mode the shutter is opened and the flash is triggered immediately. There is another mode that I will show you called M mode. M mode is designed for use with flash bulbs. I will demonstrate a flash bulb later. What M mode does is it triggers the flash slightly before it opens the shutter. The reason it does this is because flash bulbs use a chemical process of burning magnesium or zirconium ribbon and what happens is you ignite it and it starts burning and the brightness builds up. It takes some time to reach maximum brightness and the idea behind M mode was to trigger the flash slightly in advance of tripping the shutter so that the bulb would be at maximum brightness when the shutter opened and it is a way of using a higher shutter speed with a chemical flash bulb. Because chemical flash bulbs take about one thirtieth of a second to fire you are very limited with the shutter speeds that you can use and M mode is an attempt to use a higher shutter speed with the flash bulbs using a lower guide number. Basically you don't get as much light but you can use a higher shutter speed. This is the idea behind M mode. Typically you would not use this with an electronic flash because it will cause the flash not to be synchronized with the shutter opening and your pictures will not be illuminated by the flash. And you would only use it with a chemical flash bulb which are not commonly used nowadays. This is an old fashioned chemical flash bulb. You should just be able to see some metallic foil inside the bulb. 
This I believe is either magnesium or zirconium ribbon. And this gets burnt when the flash bulb is fired and the burning of it is what produces the light. This is the instruction leaflet for the flash bulb and it gives you the guide number in the table. If you read from the second row of the table that gives the ASA ISO film speed. The fourth column is 100 ASA ISO. The guide number in meters in X mode at 130 of a second is 40 which will be F8 at 5 meters. If you go into X or M mode at a higher shutter speed of 1 60th of a second this guide number drops to 28 or F5.6 at 5 meters. If you keep going into M mode at higher shutter speeds the guide number reduces further down to 18 at 1 300th of a second. This is an old style flash gun that uses a flash bulb. This flash bulb takes 1 30th of a second to produce its full output so we are limited to 1 30th of a second shutter speed or slower. This is a flash where you can use M mode and shoot at faster shutter speeds with a reduced guide number and hopefully now we will get the flash to fire. The flash duration with these bulbs can cause a subject some temporary flash blindness and cause them to blink for a few seconds. The flash bulb has now been used and needs throwing away as it is a one shot item. And here is our used flash bulb, definite size of combustion visible. Here we have a rather more modern setup, a Neewa Canon compatible speed light and radio transmitter and receiver setup. The radio transmitter still supports a PC sync connector so we can plug it into the TLR and it will trigger the flash. The flash because it is set to be firing in the direction the camera is pointing has been set on the zoom head to 35mm to give me adequate coverage. But in principle with this type of setup you can use it in a studio setup to trigger multiple flashes. Thank you for watching this video on Flash with a TLR.